Dexter New Blood episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am or re-watching or watching Dexter or Dexter New Blood, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And I have reviewed this episode of Dexter New Blood before when the show first aired. If you want to check out that video, I'll put it right about here with about 20 seconds left to go in the video in the end screen in case you want to check it out or any other playlist that you might be interested in on JDev TV. Again, my opinion has changed, so it's good to know what my thoughts were initially, my recency bias, and my thoughts now. So this will be Dexter New Blood, Episode 3. The title of this episode is called Smoke Signals. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. Dexter's Dark Passenger starts the episode off saying the uh, wilderness, snow, ice, and privacy. Well, not so much so anymore. Dexter and Harrison are going to visit the principal. Logan says he's the assistant wrestling coach. Everybody has multiple jobs in this town. Harrison's grades are fluctuating, and he says it's due to his stepmom's death. Tess is also the science teacher when she's not working at the tavern. The reservation has cameras. Uh-oh. But they're just heat signature cameras. They know there were two people in the area when the deer was killed. The wrestler jocks are messing with a student named Ethan. Dexter gives Angela all the hunting licenses. Damien, the blood guy for Iron Lake, has arrived. Dexter wants him or wants to watch him as he's a big fan of the CSI shows. And then Kurt comes with as well as it's his son. Damien confirms that human blood is at this crime scene, and Dexter says, this guy is good. Dexter's dark passenger says he's gotten rusty in his abstinence. Kurt gives his DNA. The principal calls Dexter and says, I need to talk to you. When Dexter gets at the school, he says, or she says, that Harrison had the highest score of on the test of any student, and that Harrison keeps saying he didn't cheat. Ghost Deb is bothering Dexter about the police dogs coming in the morning. She's wearing the same police outfit that Angela wears. Angela calls Kurt. The blood is a match. It came most likely from Matt Caldwell. She tells Kurt, though, while that's, you know, your son might not have killed anybody or did anything, he did shoot and kill the deer. So that he did. We're pretty sure of it. And then Angela says she's going to keep searching all the way to the caves. And Kurt's like, well, just call me if you find out any more leads. Dexter is getting Matt sent all over the crime scene in every direction, like running with the stuff in all different directions. And by the eyes, we can tell that Kurt is the one that's watching Lily on the laptop. He has opened the door for her. She runs out and then Kurt shoots her in the back, killing Lily and the song Runaway plays. I think that's the name of the song. Maybe it's not called Runaway, but it talks about running away a lot in the song. It's the song that was on the Dexter New Blood trailer. Logan tells Dexter he'll have to question him since he's actually one of the last people to see Matt Caldwell alive. The police dogs have arrived. Dexter hopes they have as much fun running through the woods as he did. I forgot to mention that Harrison, when he retook that test, he had a better score the second time around. Ghost Deb has some crazy ideas with, for what to do with Matt's body parts, putting them through like a wood chipper, and Dexter is grossed out by that, and she's like, wow, you're such a pussy now. Kurt cleans Lily's body off and also is draining out her blood. Harrison goes to sit next to Ethan at lunch, tells him his online girlfriend isn't real. Logan is questioning Dexter, not sure if Logan actually suspects Dexter or not. Harrison has Ethan send Zach a text. And then, because of the, the, the meme or whatever that was in the text, Zach goes over to pound Ethan, but Harrison stops him and shows off some of his dark passenger. Audrey gives Harrison a ride. They go to pick up some food from Gig at the market. And then Audrey and Harrison are saddened to see the white deer 
treated like roadkill in Gig's freezer or his cooler. Audrey gives Harrison her phone and wants him, well, actually, first, I guess I should mention Audrey's radiator had an issue, so she needs it to be repaired. And then she gives him her, her phone and wants Harrison to walk down the road to call the auto shop. And then Ed Olson pulls behind Audrey's vehicle. Ed wants to help, and as she tells Ed to stop fucking up the planet with her, her liberal bullshit, Ed says, have a good day and stay safe, and then leaves. And I think that's the last we see of Ed Olson. It's just some of these characters had, like, no time on the show. It should have been longer, in my opinion. Dexter has arrived at the caves, and he misses the quiet, and then a bear comes out at Dexter as he runs off. Angela calls Dexter, hey you. Dexter says, what's up? Angela wants to know if Dexter wants to come over for dinner. She tells him that Audrey invited Harrison, and Dexter says he'll come. Ethan shows Harrison drawings of him killing Zack and company, and Dexter misses the days when all he had to worry about were alligators in uh, Miami, Florida. Molly Park is in town, and she came in early in the episode, but we didn't know her name yet. She's behind Mary fucking Kill. Audrey complains to Angela about the treatment of the dead deer. Dexter says he doesn't want to lose his family. He likes this. A, rit a ritual is done for the dead deer. Dexter apologizes to Harrison for not standing up for him at the school. From now on, this is me on your side. Thanks, Dad, Harrison says. And then Dad, Dexter says it's his new favorite word. And then Dexter actually disposes of Matt Caldwell's body in a local sanitation incinerator, finally getting rid of Matt's body for good, or at least we hope. And then Dexter sees Kurt on his way home. It's at like the, the downtown tavern or something like that. Kurt's pretty wasted and tells Dexter he's alive. He actually saw... Matt and FaceTimed him and uh, Dexter insists on giving Kurt a ride home and he wonders why Kurt would lie, which of course is what ends the episode. So much better episode in the last one. They didn't say anything about Hannah dying in this one, which is better. I'm going to score the episode an 8.3 out of 10 and my characters of the episode are going to be Harrison for the guys and Audrey for the ladies. And of course, Dexter is a character of every episode, but other than Dexter, who uh, would you rank? So that's my ranking of this episode. My favorite moment. It was funny when Deb was putting like the Matt Caldwell's parts through the the uh, wood chipper and looking really crazy doing it. That was pretty good. So I'm done rambling. You've heard what I have to say. Now, of course, it's your turn. If you're a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood, consider smashing that like button. In fact, Hulk smash that like button. Share the video with anybody that you know or put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode. What would you rate the episode and who would be your male and female characters of the episode? And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. You're watching the video anyway. Watch my original review of this episode of Dexter New Blood right there. Join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.